Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The World of Harvest Or in other words, Harvester So, I'm upstairs apparently and I don't know anything of what's going on Aside of the meat If you, if you know what I mean Alright, let's look around This device is slowly releasing noxious smelling chemicals into the hallway well, whatever air freshener it is, it's probably toxic. This plaque has had its metal plate removed. Well, what the hell kind of plaque is that? Made of high-tech top of top of wear <laughs> trademark. Nice. Plants. As plastic plants go, this one seems cool. Several books about red meat and its importance to living well. Of course, Mr. Poston would love this. This plastic plant needs a good watering. Uh, closet. Wait, mirror. Your makeup will just. I don't remember Steve wearing makeup. He's a dude. Closet door won't budge. Uh, thing. It's, you know, one of those things. Obviously. Then what the hell is this? This plastic plant has enough water to last a good while. These books are obviously fakes. Hey, is that the sneakers? A pair of ceramic baby shoes. Oh, I was about to say. Uh, let's. What's in here? Oh shit, don't. Uh, what? Oh man. I, I was supposed to go in here. There we go. You know, I get a really bad feeling about what's going on in the bathroom. Because I'm literally about to shit my pants. Wads of used tissues fill this trash can. Some of them stuck to the sides. Good God. Plant. Mr. Poston has been taking this plastic plant joke too far. No kidding. Towel rack. The towels are stiff as boards. The bathtub. A thin layer of coat. A thin layer of hair coats virtually every inch of ceramic. And a rubber ducky has been better days. God, I don't even want to take a shower in there. That's nasty. Uh, what else? A window. This window affords a spectacular view of aluminum siding. Huh. Looks like sn looks like a little buzzing on the TV or something. When it comes, well, and when I say buzzing on the TV, it looks more like it than aluminum siding. But oh well. <laughs> Feels like poor sandpaper. It'll be painful to wipe this stuff. Well, at least the toilet's functional pool as well. She's purdy. Someone's been using this plastic plant as a toilet. What the fuck? What the fuck's using a a potted plant as a toilet? God, what is wrong with these people? Now here's one overly used paper towel. Then why didn't they just replace whatever? This plastic plant is apparently dead. Can I look in here? There's nothing to examine on this one. Uh, medicine cabinet. The medicine cabinet reeks of various toiletries. Can I look in here? Okay, let's see what we got here. Scattering of band aids. Can I take them? Oh, fuck. Uh, floss. Dental floss, 300 yards of it. Can I take it though? Like, what's the point of flossing anyway? Toothpaste. Be sure to roll up the tooth in the bottom. Shh, like the usual tip. Tampons. Tampons, better ask Stephanie about these. Take them. Vitamins. I can't click on that. New zippy vitamins will pick you up. I'll take the vitamins. Disinfect it. Use disinfectant not to be used for baking cookies because it's obviously a fucking chemical. Cough medicine. One hour cough medicine, I'll take that. Aspirin. Got a headache? This aspirin should do the trick. I'm guessing these three medical stuff or medications are supposed to be health items. I don't know. Or a loo. 
a jar of extra strength or lube. Great for getting in and out of tight spots. Oh my lord. Jesus Christ, man. Crazy. From what I know. Old picture. The picture on the wall is hanging a bit crooked. Huh? A what? And my thoughts about it? God damn! Just look at those thighs! Good lord! These are some big, beefy looking thighs, alright? Holy shit, she's looking good. But enough of this. I don't know why I'm being all weirded up. Being weird again. Maybe my goal. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Well, today's Monday. I'm guessing my goal in this game is to like, explore mostly everything in this game. Hmm. Interesting. She has nice taste. Just like the one back home, except pink. Nice taste. She has nice taste. Nice taste, nice taste. Basically, mostly every piece of furniture is nice taste. I can't examine a rug, no lamp, or anything, but yeah. Let's go talk to Stephanie. Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. So, you're the one. Steve, isn't it? You mean... you don't know me? I mean I don't know anyone! I don't remember anything! How many times do I have to say it? Just one, Stephanie, because... I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh god, I thought it was just me. You're not alone. Can you tell me what's going on here? Those people downstairs have locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. Uh, let's see, those people, wedding, grounded, amnesia. You know, I would grab a piece of paper and pen just to get every piece of dialogue, but I just want to get this game over with. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I'll try to remember these. They claim to be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. I know what you mean. I don't belong here. Do you have any idea where you do belong? No, but I'm fairly sure I don't belong in Harvest. Yeah. Make, makes I me think I don't want to believe. But I feel in makes my heart me think that, the woman that I don't want to belong in hell. For what I know. She's like this thing, like a parody, a bad joke with mother as the punchline. Does that make any sense? Yeah, believe me, I understand. I'm glad I'm not the only one who sees it that way. I thought I was going crazy. Join the club. But we can't both be crazy, Stephanie. Either way, something really weird is going on here. I've got to escape, and so do you. Because in a way, whether you know it or not, I think we're both grounded. Both grounded? It's been hell. They treat me well, but they won't let me leave this room. Not even to go out in the yard. Not until the wedding. They won't tell you why? Each one blames the other for grounding me. They make up different excuses. Different things I did. None of which I remember. So I sit up here. 
watch the world outside my window and listen to the noises in the house. Have you heard or seen anything that might help us figure this thing out? Every morning a weird boy comes to the house and picks up the paper. He doesn't deliver the paper. He picks up scrap paper that Miss Potsdam sets out on the porch for him. Some morning she forgets and the boy gets furious. <laughs> he gives me the creeps. Anything else you can tell me? I hear these weird scraping sounds in the bathroom sometimes. Like something is sliding along the wall. Claws, maybe. And Mr. Potsdam, I don't like the way my dear daddy looks at me. Both of them are always watching me. But especially him. You don't think they're dangerous, do you? I think this whole place is dangerous. I think we've got to escape. Before it's too late. Escape? Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. I think you're right. Of course I'm right. The lodge. Everything in Harvest seems to revolve around this damned lodge. This order of the Harvest Moon. They're responsible for this insane bake sale that's coming and for the Harvest Blood Drive, too. When people talk about the lodge, it's always in this hushed, reverent tone. Mom keeps telling me that women can't join, but she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. I don't know why. She's not the only one who wants me to sign on with the Lodge. That's probably the worst thing you could do. You think the Lodge is some kind of trap? I think all of Harvest is a trap. If that's true. Maybe joining the Lodge is the way out. Look, why not explore the town a little? I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the Lodge. You're really afraid of the Lodge, aren't you? I look at that building, all lit up at night, and I get scared. I mean, look at the damn thing. Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you? I could agree on that. Like two similar cousins. Uh, amnesia. Maybe my amnesia isn't total after all. You're familiar to me. Like we've met before. In another life. Maybe we really do live here. Maybe we were together and the same thing happened to both of us. An accident. Something. Neither of us has bumps on our heads if that's what you're getting at. Your Have you been able to remember good. anything else? Anything at all? Well, I have had these recurring dreams. Just fragments, really. Strange, abstract images. Liquid, chrome. Probably just a dream. Well, have you thought about how to escape Harvest? Dreams are pretty trippy at times. What I was about to say, her smile can be creepy sometimes. But, oh well. Not, the, it's not the only one that creeps me out. I'm pretty sure most of the games can creep me out. The wedding is only three weeks away. Not much time to get to know each other, is it? Don't worry about the wedding. It doesn't. It isn't going to happen. It's only the idea of a wedding that doesn't seem so bad. No. If it comes down to it, we just won't take the vows. I don't think anything in Harvest is that simple. Too many people are determined that we get hitched. Why? Potsdam wants the meat your father promised him. Your parents want to force you to settle down. <sighs> Mrs. Potsdam wants to have the wedding in the lodge. Me? I just want to escape. Guess we're done with mostly everything. Escape. Harp. Of course. Yeah, I think we're done. I guess that's all of the dialogue I know. Come back and visit me soon, okay?
I'll try. Well, at least I have one character that is some sort of an ally for Steve. If it isn't my favorite son-in-law, what brings you here again? Bye! Weird son of a bitch. I'm sorry, but you, you, he is weird. It's all about meat when it comes to shit like that. Oh, gosh. Um... Do I want to... Do I even want to continue this? God, there's so many... There's so much to do. I don't know. I'll check out the bandit house. Uh... And second thought, no. I think, you know what? I'm afraid I'll have to end it here for now, but I, I am not sure if you guys needed a longer video. But yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And next part, we'll continue. Uh, it's either the missile base and the bandit house, or the other way around. But either way, we'll continue with that. So, have a good one.